Suppose this La Paz long finance minister you not know, come out. No. Look at one plan payment by Golo Paraka. Because, first of all, there was no money to pay Paraka. They had to create an account or create a new black account because no other account will pay in Paraka too. Or create a penny, so go see money, put him inside the slack account now. All raising check now, all paying Paraka. That's here. This is in the court's evidence. You know, me like I'm now. Miss Yusim or FX or me like Gaman. Welcome to PNG Trends Burner. <laughs> In a significant development for law enforcement in Papua New Guinea, Police Commissioner David Manning announced the establishment of the Sensitive Investigation Board. This board, outlined in a circular obtained by the Post Courier, oversees and approves investigations and judicial proceedings involving high-profile individuals and sensitive matters, ensuring transparency and accountability. The board is comprised entirely of ex officio members from the police force's top ranks. These include the police commissioner himself, deputy commissioners, assistant commissioner of police, crimes, and the director legal. So, what's the board's purpose? Commissioner Manning is clear. To guarantee criminal investigations are conducted professionally, transparently, and with accountability. Their aim is to eliminate any potential for politicization or abuse of power for personal gain. Essentially, they want to ensure the rule of law is upheld. But how will this impact high-profile cases? Take the infamous Parakagate scandal, where Prime Minister James Murapi faces implication. The Parakagate scandal rocked the nation with allegations of excessive government billing for legal work by the Paraka law firm. The case ultimately led to the principal lawyer's imprisonment for 20 years. Critics express concern about potential bias or conflicts of interest within the board, especially when reviewing cases involving figures like Prime Minister James Marapi. The public demands transparency and accountability, and the reliability of the Sensitive Investigation Board remains under scrutiny. The Sensitive Investigation Board is designed to prevent politicization, minimize abuse of power, and ensure professionalism. However, questions linger about its ability to handle cases involving high-ranking government officials. Political leaders like Alan Byrd, Karenga Kua and Belden Nama have called for the then Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, former Treasurer, Don Polly and former Finance Minister, now Prime Minister, to be also investigated and held accountable for their parts in the Parakagate. Read a footnote, the Prime Minister, on the 5th of October, to the, this is the second time he wrote to the... Uh, Secretary of Finance, he said, uh, when the lawyer wrote and complained about his outstanding bills uh, to the Secretary of Finance and copied to the Minister for Finance, uh, the current Prime Minister then footnoted to the Secretary, please peruse, verify and settle. Now this is two days after he wrote the directive letter, two days earlier. Two days after, he's again pressuring the Secretary to pay. The man who received the money is now found to have been proven beyond doubt about illegally receiving that payment. He's now in jail. The deputy secretary who facilitated the payment has been arrested, charged for facilitating an illegal payment. He's now in the national court. But the man who issued the direction was the then finance minister, now prime minister. He's not been arrested yet. Why hasn't he not? arrested the Honorable James Marape when the others have already been arrested. One is in se doing sentence and the other one is going through trial. Why is it that he has not arrested the Prime Minister since 2017 or since 2019 when this commissioner became commissioner four years since? What has he done? Nothing. So I'm questioning him now. Is the Prime Minister treated this way because he's Prime Minister? How can he assure the people that there's no preferential treatment to the Prime Minister? When is he going to move to arrest the Prime Minister? As a matter of substance, the Prime Minister James Marapi is a co-accused, including Peter O'Neill and Don Polly. So, Marapi cannot be a state witness. He should not be a state witness. He must not be hiding behind the veil as a state witness. Really, people like Ombudsman and all these, all these uh, agencies need to start questioning whether this guy is fit for to hold the office or not. This is the second time he's done something like this. He's unfit for the office, in my view. Suppose this La Paz long finance minister not come out. No. No. Not at one payment by Golo Paraga. 
because first of all, there was no money to pay Paraka. They had to create an account, or create a new account, because no other account will pay in Paraka too. Or create a penis, or go kissing money, put him inside the account now, or raise him check now, or pay in Paraka. That's here, this is in the court sentence. You know, me like Kamna, misuse him or fakes, or me like Giamman, or me like makeup. Uh, what the minister is saying when he's saying there's a crucial distinction between a witness and an accused, what he's trying to say is this. Suppose you involve law one plus still, okay, you come a witness, even though you involve me by no not charging you. That's what he's saying. The laws of Papua New Guinea do not give any immunity to someone who is a witness and also one of the star actors in the case. It doesn't. This is very poor from a police minister. He's already trying to build a case to say, look, me blah by no napa. Go after long old star witness na star performance blah blah. That's what he's saying. This is wrong. Those two who were most responsible for defrauding the people of Papua New Guinea, one plane, Karabus Pinis. Narbla, police minister to Golon of That's what he's saying. Because he's witness. Because I'm witness. Am yet writing pass, am yet directing secretary blong finance. I'm directing Secretary of the Treasury and to pay in Paraguay. I'm working. Will Prime Minister James Marapi and others implicated in scandals like Paracagate receive unbiased vetting by the board? Do you think the police commissioner should be empowering his investigation team of police detectives rather than vetting the political cases? Comment, share, let PNG YouTube community know about this developing story. Subscribe and stay tuned for updates.